Hello, Swim Racers, and welcome to tonight's live stream. Um, tonight, a little bit of introduction because it is a little bit of a different live stream. So, I am uh, Aristoteles. I am Aris from Kuno Simulazioni, a developer. I'm doing the physics of the cars, and uh, I will be uh, doing. I will be participating on the Predators Cup uh, from Acer, and uh, sponsored and uh, organized by uh, Romain Grosjean. Uh, and um, why it is a little bit special uh, tonight? Well, obviously I will try to, to qualify, but as you might know, I am not really uh, an alien, so I don't think I will make it to qualify. But uh, I do have uh, a couple of weeks of practice before uh, the Predator Cup qualifications open for Italy, where I am uh, registered. And uh, I would uh, like to, to show you uh, and do a little bit of an experiment of what muscle memory does to a driver, uh, create a basic setup, uh, which we are going to, to use today, and then retry again and practice a little bit next week, and then next week try the qualification. So we will see uh, practice session after practice session after practice session, what is going to happen into our lap times, into our uh, speed and performance uh, on, on the circuit. Uh, and obviously we are going to use uh, Assetto Corsa 1, which I, wasn't be, uh, I haven't been using since a long time for, for proper racing. So it's, it's like, you know, trying something different and completely new for me. And that would be also pretty nice uh, to, to show you and explain you what practice actually does for us when we are practicing properly and we're training properly. All right, so um, let me show you actually what is this all about. So, uh, yes, so Predators Cup, uh, as we say, uh, you can see it now in, uh, in Italian because I have already registered and um, all you have to do is just go into predatorscap.acer.com, uh, register properly, and you will receive uh, an email with all the necessary information to download um, the specific programs needed for the anti-cheat and uh, be able to access uh, the server uh, that they will uh, have available for the qualifying uh, sessions and uh, you will also get the download links for the car the libraries of the car and for monza which is a little bit different with the sponsor of uh, acer and the predator cup and you will also find out when your qualification is on for example for italy and i think whole europe is from 17th to 21st of may uh, while this week already started uh, for, um, let me show you actually, I'm not even sure where it started, so let me check this, for the Gulf. So the go Gulf, Gulf, sorry about that. Uh, all the uh, countries from uh, Gulf region are already starting qualifying. So maybe my kind of uh, sessions uh, of practice sessions here and the setup which obviously will as usual be available to everybody uh, might help you to you know improve your lap times uh, after the qualification there will be a, a national final uh, which is going to be a race of 60 minutes again at monza uh, and then there will be an international finals from the five best uh, from every nation so you know, uh, it will take quite a bit of time. Um, that said, the most important thing that you need to know is that once you have qualified, uh, you will be then able, uh, you will get a link and you will be able to access uh, the Discord uh, server. Uh, so let me actually show you. I hope you can see it already. Yes, this is obviously uh, our Discord, so let's go to the Predators Cup 2021 Discord server you will get here. And as you can see, there are uh, specific channels for all the information you need to install properly all the uh, programs and libraries and tracks that you need to uh, participate. Uh, there are also information of how to install the PT, uh, P Tracker uh, application that is needed to uh, you know, qualifying the servers, uh, important announcements, uh, and most importantly, you can question anything 
you can put your questions here. Um, and the guys uh, over here are very, very active, uh, the organizers, and they will uh, help you uh, with all your questions and doubts that you might have. They have also created specific chat channels for every uh, nation uh, that is uh, available, so you can go, I don't know, in Italy here there are information, perciò per gli italiani potete andare qui per le informazioni, uh, ci sono già tanti italiani qua uh, che possono rispondere e aiutarvi. Uh, and so this is for, as I said, all the nations that are uh, supported from the championship, so you can go there and ask your questions in your native language and hopefully people will be able to help you. And they also have voice uh, race channels, so you can join your friends and uh, participate. All right, so uh, I have already um, downloaded the... Um, um, sorry again. The uh, library, so here it is. Uh, actually, let me show you. Where is it? Mercedes. Here it is, the library of the Predator Cup, which is pretty nice. And I also have uh, downloaded the specific Monza Predator here. Um, as far as I remember, these are the conditions, so 21 degrees, optimum track, and so on. But you will find those conditions also again on the Discord uh, channel. So let's go in and uh, start uh, practicing. It won't be a very long uh, live stream. I will try to keep it in around an hour, or maybe an hour and a half. Uh, I purposely want to do that. I, I want to practice for a specific time to show you how you can get better and better and better without really uh, wasting too much time. Uh, again, you know, if you are really serious about it, then obviously you're going to be extremely extremely uh you you will need to to uh be as uh, to, to get as much practice as possible to get better uh as i said i don't think i will be able to qualify but you know uh, i just want to show you to give you a basic setup and show you how we can get better all right so uh, the audio is on everything should be on right so the first thing i want to do um, is, you know, uh, obviously this is a GT3 car, but it is a very generic GT3 car. It doesn't have the BOP, the specific BOP that we have in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Uh, it has multiple tire sets because, you know, the idea in Assetto Corsa 1, it was that, okay, the car is generic and you can get different tires from different manufacturers. Uh, so it's not the specific Pirelli that we use on um, I set the competition, uh, and we can also even change gears. We didn't have the specific hom homologation back then to, to give you just the gears permitted from the homologation of the cars. So there are some things changed in here that we can use to our advantage to get better and better, faster and faster. But being this mm, Monza, I won't even try the first uh, time on the basic setup. I will just go into the aereo and instantly, you know, go down to zero rear wing and zero front splitter and go then to the suspensions and lower the car at the maximum at the minimum uh, right head possible and start from there this is where we start okay so this is the start of our uh, of our setup why because we are monza we know that at monza we want as much straight line speed as possible. We might go back later on and see if we can use a little bit extra downforce. But for now, this is how we're going to try and see what is going to happen. All right, so um, OK. All right, so let me also lower the fuel to something like, uh, I don't know, 50 liters just to start getting an idea of uh <laughs> si graziano esattamente così dai facciamo tutti una figurata <laughs> so 50 liters just to start getting an idea of the track uh we'll do a couple of laps to check how our pressures are because also in uh, assetto corsa uh, one the, the the pressures are very very important as usual um we will go with the soft tires obviously and then, you know, work from there and see what we're going to do. As, as I said, 
this is totally for you know um, uh, this is totally for um, qualifying right it's it's totally qualifying session so we are trying to do you know as extreme uh, setup as, as possible as we can drive all right let's go let me know if the sound is way too high so I can maybe lower it Well, you know, we, we are using zero uh, wing even in Assetto Corsa Competizione at, uh, at Monza, so it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, straight. This is just vanilla Soto Corsa 1, so I haven't changed anything at all. Maybe we should go into the closer uh, uh, camera to the cockpit. But maybe not. I don't know. Let me check. Whoops. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that's maybe better to drive with. So we can check a little bit better what we're doing. Oh, and that's the zero wing, and we have already damage. All right, start again. <laughs> uh, any specific rules or track limits? I guess, you know, the, 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 the usual ones. No, it's not the same track. The guy is much, much uh, older than the version that we have in a certain course of competition. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit, you know, the main thing in a certain course of one is that there is a little bit of a feeling of sliding around. The guy is not so precise and not so planted. But, I mean, still drives nicely. Hey Marinko, hi guys. Have some understeer at turn in. No, no, new tire model. <laughs> Assetto Corsa One is it, the development of Assetto Corsa One is ended years ago, so we're not touching it anymore. Motors are doing an amazing job, but. For us, I mean, we can only focus in one title at a time, so it's just not possible for us to update it. Uh, tire model, new tire models, if it happens, it happens on a set of course of competition and not, not here. How much is it based on Netcar Pro? Uh, not much, absolutely, practically nothing. It's rewritten from zero, a set of course of one. It has nothing really to, to do with uh, Netcar Pro. Okay, takes a little bit, need a little bit of practice first. The pressures are very low, I can see that. So we need to raise those. But let's do, let's do at least two, two laps. Stop the car here. Ah, uh -huh, Camille. <laughs> well, we always working. 
heavily. And you know that I'm always trying improving things. Yeah, Monster is right with that bridge, right? Αποστόλοι έχουμε σταματήσει το development στο ΑΣΥ χρόνια τώρα. Δεν μπορούμε να δουλεύουμε σε δύο σιμουλατόρι uh, simulators ταυτόχρονα. Δεν έχουμε ούτε το δυναμικό ούτε την δυνατότητα. Uh, συγκεντρωνόμαστε πάντα σε ένα. Για να βάλεις το tire model στο, σε το Corsa 1 θα πρέπει να ξαναφτιάξεις όλα τα αυτοκίνητα. Έχουμε 200 αυτοκίνητα μέσα στο σε το Corsa 1. Δεν γίνονται αυτά τα πράγματα. No, GT2 is a completely different category. It's not part of SRO. As you know, Assetto Corsa Competizione is the official SRO series simulator. It's like asking in uh, Formula One from Godmasters to put in IndyCars, you know? So that's, that's the comparison. So that's why we, we won't put this kind of... Uh, except if you mean Oh, so you mean GT2 is the new ones from SRO, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm already in Assetto Corsa 1. I thought GT2 like GTE from WEC. Uh, no, GT2 are not in the program right now because the series is so young. Uh, there is no f full and clear car list yet. So honestly, we are not even discussing it right now. I don't know in the future what is going to happen. As usual, if there are any plans, you will find it only from the official channels of Assetto Corsa and from Kunos, not from me. But honestly, right now, we're not even discussing that. Okay, let me do one more lap, because I was talking too much. Nice, okay. One point tire model. <laughs> Oof. Oh, come on. Oh, lost it. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go back. And as we said, first things that we need to fix are the pressures. So we were like at 22, 23. We need to go much higher than that, 24, all right? So we need to go to 26, 27 for, uh, for uh, Seto Corsa 1. So let's try this. Okay. don't even remember exactly how it works here so we, we will see I don't think we should it should be symmetrical but we'll see in a minute uh, Mugello is not part of the SRO series so again guys you are asking things that make no sense oh Marinko I have not been in Greece for three years now so Frontally, COVID uh, didn't permit me to, to go back then. <laughs> Monza Tractor, yes. <laughs> 
All right, so um, okay, let, let's let's only try the pressures for now. Let's only try the pressures. Let's see if uh, today, with all the modifications, etc., and me getting better, uh, if we can go up, go down to under 150. So the the benchmark for for tonight is under 150. If we can do our 149 for tonight, that would be nice. And then maybe next week we can do a 148, maybe, and so on. And that will bring us in two weeks from now in maybe a 147, which might be for my kind of, you know, level. Could be very good uh, lap time. We'll see. of all there are no, no news because as you know we're in the middle of the pandemic and it's not easy for us to travel around I can tell you that lots of work is going on behind and we're trying to understand what we're going to do there is no uh, how to say uh, we, we do not we, we do not expect to abandon a certain course of competition right now Absolutely not. We're still full working on a set of competizione, so uh, don't worry. I will, I will only tell you that. Don't worry. I don't know what we'll be able to do because the situation is particular and maybe we won't be able, you know, to do full things of everything of what we want to do. But don't worry about it. Enjoy the game and uh, the game will get better. Uh, sure, Camille. Yeah, we have talk about it, but yes, we can talk talk about this again. Yeah, I mean, there's always work going on behind the scenes, guys. I mean, obviously, you can imagine we are now. Uh, almost 30 people working in Kunos and obviously we are not there standing you know like this doing nothing uh, there is always a lot of work everybody is working 200% as usual so even if you don't hear m news you know sometimes because it happens for licensing reasons for contract reasons for whatever things that you know are still happening uh, you can be absolutely sure that the whole Kunos team is working always like crazy every day so don't worry about it no no Bruno I haven't tried the new fanatic fanatic Uh, yeah, it, it feels a little bit strange. So I'll be honest. I prefer ACC by a big margin, but it's it's still nice. Uh, it would be more interesting if it was, you know, a street car or something like that that you know ACC doesn't uh, offer. But obviously, ACC is so much better in GT3. So obviously, this doesn't feel so nice. But it's okay. I mean so many years ago so makes sense right yes i count all the cats and dogs always Un tutorial sulla staccata? Mm, non esattamente, non esattamente, no. Però sì, hai ragione, è una cosa che a un certo punto dobbiamo fare. Eh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I, uh, Santa Cruz One has so many exceptional cars, and many of them are also extremely well simulated. Uh, especially some road cars and hybrid cars and all classic cars are really well very well simulated so staccata means the braking how to how to brake and trail brake all the techniques so yeah it's uh it's one of a kind of the course all right Oh yes, of course I've, I've done all the cars in Assetto Corsa 1, absolutely. I've been working with Kunos uh, since the uh, uh, the couple last cars from Netcar and the user interface, the last user interface of Netcar, uh, Ferrari Virtual Academy, all cars, all user interface, Assetto Corsa One, all cars, all user, uh, all design of user interface, let's say. And obviously web presence, uh, websites, some trailers, and so on. And then we finally got more people. So in a Santa Cruz Competizione, I'm now head of research and development, and I'm doing only the cars in a Santa Cruz Competizione and consulting of gameplay, of design, and some user interface. But I'm not doing the user interface anymore. I'm not designing it myself. So other people are doing that now, so I can focus more on the physics. All right, I think this is a better lap time. 26, 26, 25. Oh, we are down on 50.44. No, uh, all the trailers in Assetto Corsa Competizione and the last trailers in uh, Assetto Corsa One, they are not mine anymore. I don't, I don't help with that anymore. white here the most hours <laughs> it's me yeah <laughs> as far as I know it's me by far ah. oh, no more fuel okay so we are we're pretty down right we are 150 okay so let's go a little bit higher here so one, 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 two, and one. Let's go to 27. Right, fuel is good. Uh, let me check if the uh, 
where I, where is the suspension the the alignment because we haven't checked the alignment oh I could I could use some extra camber at the rear the alignment is a bit negative I could go to zero almost so that I can get a little bit more top end speed oops as usual in a set across one we have to check over here okay and then we have the dampers so I won't even go there right now um, travel range yeah not enough camber yes not enough camber. Okay, uh, let's let's save the setup for now. It's very very initial. So let's see Predator one zero one. Uh, so save this and uh, let's do uh, some more laps. Again, we try to learn the track, learn the car. This is what we're doing right now. So learn the track and learn the car. Mm. One of the things that it's it's bothering me like right now is when I'm going heavy on the brakes, I get too much ABS and going too much uh, understeer. So let's see if I can actually move the um, yeah the brake bias of the bit of the rear, something like this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, Mikael, maybe you need to get new <laughs> new headphones, honestly. <laughs> I mean, there is nothing that is better than <laughs> than a Santa Corsa competition in the sound. <laughs> Yeah, the turn in is seems to be better now. <laughs> no, I think Assetto Corsa is still very, very valid uh, simulator for many different kinds of, of cars and trucks, you know. Uh, the simulation is still good. Yes, it's not as advanced as a Santa Cruz but it's still good. Motors are pushing the simulation even even higher, so it gets even better than that. The graphics and the mods uh, of some cars are uh, unbelievable. So, I mean, it's it's still very very valid and uh, a great sim to use with you know different aspects, different kind of of cars, different kind of series, and so on. Mikael, get better headphones or whatever you're using, mate. <laughs> or <laughs> even better, visit a real track and don't and don't use YouTube videos for your comparisons. How to set up gear ratios in AC? Uh, I wish I knew. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, you, you should use again maybe telemetry, but I don't have it uh, right now working for uh, for a Santa Cruz One. But we can do something uh, easier, probably.
Yeah, keep in mind that the, you know the engines are not properly restricted as in uh, as in a set of course of competition. So maybe you know not for all the cars, but for this car probably when the rev when the LEDs are blinking, this is the time to change gear. We can do a couple of things here and try and see if we can improve, for example, our top speed. Hello, PG. Long time. and touches the ground way too much over there. Two hundred and eighty-three. We'll have to check at uh, what RPM we're doing that. Maybe on the uh, on a replay. And then see if we can, you know, tweak a little bit the sixth gear. And from then or from then on. I think we're getting faster. Yeah, 49.9 already. That's good. Mm. That's good. Maybe we can do 49 lows tonight. That would be nice. Oh. Ah, too much. No, damage model is not something we are we're going to do or improve on ACC, unfortunately. It is what it is. Not a good lap. <laughs> Practice completed. <laughs> no, no, let's let's you know, let's keep doing what we're doing. too much okay 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 that looks nice still a fast lap only three tenths less so let's go to the pits and uh, braking looks much better for me I'll go down two and see what happens you see in the Soto Corsa one all changes need wider range so things are you know <laughs> too bold <laughs> maybe not um okay so uh what can i do here electronics yeah the traction control which by the way it's three i think it's too much right so it's it's the opposite here in uh, in the Corsa one so lower numbers more influence higher numbers less influence so let's go up to something like six and see how the car uh, behaves. Um, I would also want to go down by one here. 
and uh, this is my sixth gear let's make it a little bit shorter so one click shorter I want to see what will happen in the sixth gear if I can get an even higher um, uh, top speed so only those things let's see Yeah, marble. You know, for for us, it's it's a great problem to have. Problem. I mean, if people are choosing and are preferring, you know, Assetto Corsa One instead of uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione, for us, it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Uh, right now, if you see the Steam charts, you can see that Assetto Corsa One and Competizione are dominating in terms of players. Uh, so. I mean, for us, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic place to be right now. And uh, we, we are extremely happy with that, you know. We never thought uh, a Seto Corsa Competition to be used so widely because it is, you know, a single series, a niche of a niche market, you know. But still it is used so much, which is practically approaching the numbers of a Seto Corsa 1 which is so much uh, of a broad um, uh, simulator of, you know, it has everything inside. So for us, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a great uh, feeling. And obviously, uh, I mean, I'm not hiding. It's, it's great for business too, which keeps the studio extremely healthy and permits us to keep on working to, to whatever we love, mainly. Uh, uso il Fanatec Direct Drive 2 con il volante Formula 1 nuovo cioè nuovo l'ultimo Sky oh my god thank you so much mate You want the pit cruise of the other cars. I don't think this is possible in terms of performance. Uh, I don't remember anymore uh, what the situation was and why we had to disable it. Uh, I can ask again. And uh, thanks for reminding me. I, I, can, I can ask uh, again and see what is the situation right now. Car becomes, as I'm pushing close to the limits, car becomes more difficult and I'm getting closer to the limits of the car so it gets harder. cylinders should uh, enable the Delta we don't have any Delta let's see the top speed here if we gain a kilometer or, or something Yeah, maybe. Uh, I 
BM Racing, no, no, capito cosa intendi. That seems a better lap, let's see. That's uh, just basic uh, vanilla Assetto Corsa, I'm, I'm using nothing. No, Giro con la GT3 I'm getting in Assetto Corsa 1. Hey, 49.7, yeah, we're getting better, that's good. Yeah, it's open setup, uh, Lando. I will, of course, uh, post the setup once I'm done. Ah, okay. All right, so let's go back. Back to the pits. Uh, was it better? On I don't. Really, I, I, I I'm not. I'm not sure if it was better. The six gear like that. Yeah, it's silly there. I mean, you know, Assetto Corsa always looked, looks really nice. I mean, people complain about the B-dimensional trees. Can I be completely honest? I like B-dimensional trees. They are always so much crispier. I know, yeah, technology move ahead, but, you know, I'm, I'm an 80s boy, so <laughs> I'm used to B-dimensional sprites of trees. <laughs> hey, CC. All right, so um, I think we got a little bit better. I'm not sure that we got better in terms of top speed, but I want to try something different. So, all right, everything is cool, everything is fine. I believe that if I raise the height a little bit on the car, since Assetto Corsa 1 is not so pitch sensitivity, you know, I could go over the curbs faster and better, and that will permit me, you know, especially on the second Variante, I could go over the entry curb much, much faster. So I, I want to try this. I don't know what is going to happen. I just want to try, uh, you know, a little bit higher front end, and maybe a little bit higher rear, and see what happens. Might be completely, completely wrong, but we'll see. And uh, let's go a little bit extra on the traction control. I can still, you know, control the car. Yeah, yes, Lando, you, you're right, you're right. Yeah, maybe, maybe also for turn one, maybe I can do something, but... This also gives you an idea of how much better is in Assetto Corsa Competizione, as the values are so much closer to the real setups. Aereo is still at, one, at zero, yes. I would, I would try later to something like two, maybe. One or two uh, rear wing, but not much higher than that, because Mons, obviously, you know, you want as less aero drag as possible because you need the the top speed oh look at that that goes nice over there <laughs> uh, how do you increase uh, probably using much less uh, uh, resolution than what you're using I mean uh, normal HD so 1080 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels so probably that is why you see the menu so high so big uh, you might lose a little bit of exit corner with uh, lower wing whoops 
You might uh, lose some exit corner uh, with lower speed uh, wing, but the uh, the straight lines here at Monza are so long. You need all the top speed you can get, all the top speed you can get. So at Monza, it's uh, it pays to have a very low wing. Everywhere else, probably not. Uh, but at Monza, definitely you need as low speed, uh, as low wing as possible. still now yes well obviously GT3 cars are you know well first of all all racing cars have slicks and those are much spiky obviously open to debate with this uh, affirmation because you know tire modeling is always getting better but generally, they are much more difficult to, to handle than, uh, than normal street tires. And then you have m lots of aerodynamics, and the cars are very sensible, sensitive to aerodynamics. And that makes things even harder. <laughs> Troll Turismo, well, yeah, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. <laughs> Ciao Stefano So it seems that the setup it has even more downforce at the front so maybe it was so low at the front before that it was stalling the, the front splitter and now it got back some downforce because it turns much better than before to be honest you see oh look at that Oh, look at this. I went over that that curb like nothing. That was really cool. But I have some issues with the handling of the car. It's a little bit too pointy. Aliens would love it, but not me. <laughs> Look at that, oof, oh, oh, completely destroyed. So, things are getting interesting. Um, so definitely the traction control now, it makes me suffer. So it, it everything it's, you know, rotates a little bit too much. Maybe I can lower a little bit the uh, wheel rate here and get lower at the rear. A super quick scenario, example of scenario of where I would change the preload diff. I have actually made a video about that. I don't know if CC driver can find it on, on the fly. If not, we will search it later and let you know. No, Predator Cup, okay, like Predator Cup is only for Assetto Corsa 1. Uh, I don't think they are using consoles because they want you to go into their servers to qualify, so you, only ca you can only do this by APC. But I'm not so sure, so, you know, you can always register, go to their Discord uh, channel and ask. That's it. Thank you so much, CC Driver. So, for, uh, who was it? 
Paolo De Stefani that asked a quick example of uh, how preload diff works. CC driver just posted the uh, the video I have made about this, so make sure to, to have a go on that and watch it. And I believe that it will explain exactly what you need. Thank you so much, CC driver, as always. Perfect. Yeah, CC is, is amazing. I think he has the list in already <laughs> with things to, to show. Okay, so let's go down to 100 here and see what we can do. Right, let's see. <laughs> Good bot, CC driver. See if we can uh, improve. go over here oops ah not not that bad <laughs> nah, nah, you're amazing mate I mean I, I can only do as much as I do but without you guys the the community that follows me every time uh, CC driver uh, Andy Mon Lupo you know and all the guys inside the Discord server, uh, you guys always uh, offer so much extra uh, help for, for all the people approaching. So I can only thank you for, for always staying there for, with me, you know, and uh, trying to, to help any new guy coming into the Discord server and all that stuff. So thanks again, guys. Uh, eight cylinder. Unfortunately, it's uh, it's a problem. It's a problem lately from YouTube. It keeps on doing that. I mean, we upload the uh, the thumbnails, and it keeps on pixelating our our thumbnails. It doesn't happen only to me, but happens also to other uh, people. Especially when you are doing a live stream, it just pixelates the thumbnails. Then you have to re-upload, and it keeps. Maybe it fixes it, but. I don't know what they're doing. Hopefully they will fix it. Yeah, John Smith, Askaroth that is doing the MoTeC, all the guys, the contributors over there. I mean, so many people. <laughs> All right, that goes good. Uh, no, Hockenheim, I don't think it's part of uh, of SRO, but maybe they go there for GT2s. I don't know. I mean, again, all new tracks, it's such a difficult situation right now for us. So, I don't know what's going to happen. We would love to do more non-European tracks, but... Still to square me. Where is the, the Delta? Delta... I don't even remember how it's made. Maybe I can... Oh, there it is. I can... Yeah, here's the... That's the pit tracker that you have to install and gives you also the delta. So let's put this somewhere around here, maybe. You can see that. Yeah, and be bl <laughs> black. I, I, I was doing it right now, <laughs> yes.
Oof. You see, the car is really oversteer right now. Haven't done a single good lap, actually. Uh, fuel is also finishing. Not sure if I can do another lap. was better in second year exit. And I've lost everything. Now there's better here. Ah, <laughs> seem no. <laughs> there is no comparison, really. ACC hands down. over steer here I'm not really enjoying but I'm getting better so I can control it better oh that seems a better lap let's see 49.14 all right, now we're talking. Yup, nope, not good. Okay, okay, let's stop. We don't have fuel anymore. Right, we're going, we're going better. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, obviously here, I mean, to fix oversteer in Assetto Corsa 1, you play more with basic aereo and basic mechanical grip. So I will go a little bit higher on the front wheel rate, like that, and ARB, just a little bit higher, you know, classic stuff. And uh, I would like to try uh, one rear wing, just one degree rear wing, and see what happens. Uh, Marble, you do know that ACC communicates vibration when you are overstaying too much. So maybe something is in wrong in your uh, in your configuration. I think I have already done a, mo a Monster Circuit walk. I don't remember. I think I have, I have done already in ACC. Or not. Getting old. I don't remember things. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do a 48 tonight. If I can do a 48, that's it for tonight. No, CC, I haven't done a Monza. That's strange. Well, we can we can fix that even tonight. A very fast, you know, and just you know. 
Monts and Mizano are missing. We can do a very fast uh, circuit walk at Monza tonight, but you know, like 15 minutes, just the basics. And then do a proper one inside the Seto Corsa competizione. I might need a little bit uh, front brake balance now. Car rotates a little bit too much when braking. Other than that, it looks and feels pretty nice here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I need some extra front weight balance. Okay, let's see. Also have a look at the top speed. Seems almost identical as before, so we haven't lost much. Yes, I can do TC live and ABS, but I'm not sure I have mapped them on my steering wheel right now. Look at that, how fast I am into these, you know, slower corners. without even pushing as I was pushing before, so... That setup, you know, one, one degree rear wing might have something. You can see also how much I've lost in the straight when I put in the sixth gear. Okay, I'm losing already now, look at this. Look at that, every gear is lost in acceleration because of the, oof, of the rear wing, oh come on Aris, of the rear wing uh, drag. Brake much lower. <laughs> Full Dorifto. Uh, Qual è sera White Lilac? Oh, come on. What happened? Why am. Wow. Let's, let's check what happened and why I'm having so much trouble with the uh, brake balance. Well, whatever happened in the aerodynamics, maybe because I'm keeping the front end better, 
and more controlled because of the higher wheel rate, it doesn't stall while on braking and keeps so much aero at the front. So where was, oh my God, where is it? Come on, Aris, where is it? Gears? <sighs> if, ah, here we are. Okay, let's go back to 67. Uh, Niller, what DLC are you talking about? We just released British GT DLC on the consoles. Also, since you are new on the channel, uh, I am a dev, yes, but I'm not here to tell you to give you support or to you know tell you future plans, etc. All that stuff goes through the official channels. I cannot give you support right now. This is you know the night to stay close to the community and have some fun together and maybe if I can teach you some things or show you things but in terms of support and future plans this is not my job to, to, to tell you and I don't know all the things. Uh, if you need something about physics of the car then you know ask away but for the other stuff I, I cannot really help you. But again I mean uh, which DLC you're talking about because I think as I said we just released British GT in the last couple of days and also another patch uh, today I think so I don't know exactly what you want <coughs> hey Altor yep I uh, have a look at the rear toe yeah I cooked also the rears that's true all right let's uh, let's try once more Another car blog in the forums. Maybe, I don't know what to tell you. What changed in the 911R in the hotfix? Nothing. Uh, I don't know, I can try. I don't remember, I mean, I don't, I don't even know the, I don't remember the tricks in a set of course of one so I'm just you know starting from scratch we can try that yeah Well, you know, if it says balancing, that is the 911 Evo, I think, not not the the, the old one. Yeah, it says balancing. It's pretty easy on the tracks. That says that it is has been some balancing. Then it's simply, you know, on the track that it goes too fast, it's a little bit slower, and vice versa. So that's it, mainly. Then it's Alton and uh, somewhere in the intercontinental channels changed. Why? That was strange here. What is the law? I, I believe the uh, the aliens will start doing 46. I think. Hello, Bunatics. How are you doing? Uh, 
Hmm, looks better. Oh, 46, Tony. I think they will do 46. No, we will not changing uh, BOP because of Tortelli or any other alien. We are changing. We are fine tuning BOP to keep the cars closer to what the other cars doing. <coughs> ah, Mizan is a nice truck, yeah. All right, let's see. We could do another interesting lap now. Not good. Uh, yes, the balance is based on the real data, but there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. Some of the evolutions of the car or some of the... Um, ah, okay, let me stop here. So, the BOP is based on the real BOP, all right? And we know it's ballast, it's restrictors, that's it. But uh, there are always some data that we don't know on the cars. Something about the aerodynamics, something about the engine, something about the chassis, stuff like that, okay? And those data, either the, develop, the uh, manufacturers do not want us to know, or they don't know themselves. I mean, for example, uh, you might have the aero map, the full aero map of a car, but you don't have the full aero map of that car in some slight yaw angle that might be, you know, the yaw angle that uh, the aliens use or whatever, even the, the real drivers use to make a specific turn. So if at that yaw angle, the aero map is a little bit more higher than what you have or lower than what you have, this will make the car a slight bit faster or slower than what you have. Same goes for the engine. You might have a little bit extra power because they brought some, I don't know, developments on the eco, eco uh, on the computer uh, management of the engine, or they might have found some, you know, different uh, camshaft uh, tuning, you know, whatever. So, and they do that also from track to track, so they change things. So, it might be obviously that whatever we have done, we get some car that is a little bit different than the other cars on some tracks. And so, what we are doing is we do not change the data that we know. We never do that. The data that we know, always we get it, we put it into the simulator, and we never touch those. We are going to touch small values, small, small number of values that we don't know the exact data, trying to reverse engineering maybe the telemetry of, from the real labs that we have, uh, some feedback from the drivers, some feedback from the engineers, and so on. So this is where we will play a little bit, but we're talking really minimal, and that's why every time we touch the BP, we are always talking about one tenth of a second difference, two tenths of a second difference, that's it, mainly. We're never doing, you know, a BOP to change a car by one second. Never happens. Uh, so we're talking about one tenth, two tenths, three tenths in extreme situations of a second uh, difference performance that it is uh, made by those small, tiny changes here and there. It's never just one thing. It's a little bit of the engine there, a little bit of the air or that, and you know, all of these changes. Uh, just in a single uh, track situation in order to have the cars as close as possible. This is why we're saying there's not a perfect car, there's, a, there's not the fastest car in the Seto Corsa 1, uh, sorry, in Seto Corsa Competizione. You can win in almost any track with almost at least six or seven different cars in any track. And in, if you take and make a long championship in various tracks, then you can win the championship with maybe 10 different cars in a Soto Corsa Competition, which we are pretty proud about it. Uh, the now, sir, it does turbo flutter. 
it does honestly guys maybe you have to check better your your uh headphones and, and everything or get uh, better headphones because the 488 evo does uh turbo flatter No, I mean in competitive situations, they never share all all of the data. So, but I mean, in in a series like ZT3, you get a lot of data. We've been very very happy uh, with the feedback. We, we get a lot of data. We get a lot of feedback. But there are values that not even the manufacturer knows. There are values in the tires that not even the uh, not even Pirelli knows. You know. Um, Everybody gets better and better and better, but there are still plenty of stuff that we don't know. And you, it takes experience. It takes, you know, uh, real teams find performance where they didn't think there was there was any because they, you know, keep exploring how the cars behave. And simulators find uh, different uh, characteristics on the cars where we didn't thought they would be there because we explore and get more insight and more data and so on. Well, yes, it certainly it's not pronounced as it is on the BMW. Yeah, but uh, I mean, in the 488 on AC, don't expect, you know, amazing things. It's very similar to the, uh, to the normal 488. We cannot have different maps, so many, many things. We, are, we cannot have many, many things, so. Hey, Tortellini. All right, so um, a great, terrible, but great, but terrible race. All right, well, at least you enjoy it, I guess. Um, all right, so what are we going to do here? Let's raise the front arm. I, I want less. Also, yeah, let's try what, uh, what, who was it? I don't remember. Manos said. All right. Let's see if we can do that 48. Unfortunately, I haven't saved the setup until now, so I cannot even go back to the original setup. Manos get artists, right. So let's see if we can get better with this. Oof. Very good in acceleration. Very stable. <laughs> Tortellini was Kevinized. Join the club, mate. Welcome to the fuel calculation experts club. <laughs> ah, 
stupid me here. Let's see if we can gain some time on the rest of the lap. And then try another one. Whoa. No, you can't because it's not homologated for GT3 cars. Ooh, come on, Aris, drive better and stop watching the chat. All right, so I, I still have some um, some. Um, Actually, let's go. Let's go harder here. I want to be more stable everywhere. ACC should have a run feature where drivers can run the remaining laps if they run out of fuel. Son, we don't do this thing over here. We're doing simulators. <laughs> Uh, D DJ, is this who you talking about? No, there's not five points here, the Mr. Fly. No, no, no. <laughs> no, Tortellini, son, we don't do those things here. We, we, we implement everything and then we just lock it. <laughs> No, no, actually, everything we have in Assetto Corsa 1 is also there in Assetto Corsa Competizione, plus the extra stuff. It's just locked or not used because, you know, the car might not use it, but... Actually, we, we implement futures extra if we find that, you know, the cars are, are using extra futures. We never, I mean, at least we try our best to not, um, how to say, work around futures and say okay this is too complex we won't do it i mean come on guys we implemented active rear steering and active differences active aereo and hybrid systems on assetto corsa one it was industry first when we did it so come on Oh, it's not, it's not by like the McLaren. You have to understand how the electronic brake bias works because it keeps on changing a lot. Uh, it, once you understand it and you let it do its thing and you change a little bit your driving style, I'm fine with it. Uh, Bonatics, you know, mate. Official channels. I know nothing about that stuff. Okay, I believe that if we do a proper lap, we can do a new record again. This feels much better. Now, obviously, it feels better, but I don't know if it is better. Lap time is the final judge, as usual, but we'll see. Come on, come on. Oh, 
We need a good Ascari now. Come on. Hello, Edo. Come on. Come on, come on, that's a good lap. Under 49. Yeah, 48.6. I think I would call it a night. <laughs> that's a pretty good uh, lap for uh, for first uh, night of practice. So we're doing good. We're doing good. So actually, let's let's see the replay and maybe save it also. Should be somewhere here. That was interesting. So that's the lap. Save the replay. Okay. Maybe I would save only the last lap after this. Yeah, somewhere around here. Tanker is come on, come on, guys. Does those, those things, honestly, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what your configuration is, or I mean, no, no, not really. There's no comparison, whatever. I mean, you might like them more, but objectively, there's no comparison. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good, but it's no comparison with the Seto Corso Competizione. I raised it a little bit to go over the curbs, Tortellini. <laughs> Actually, it works. Uh, I, just, I think there are different kinds of uh, um, color gradient, something like that. You don't even have to, to run competition in, uh, in Epic. I mean, I don't run it in Epic everywhere and still people ask me, oh, how is it so beautiful? I mean, it takes a little bit of, you know. Yeah, vanilla, the mystery fly, the Mr. Fly. So let me let me also uh, since we have a good lap, let me show you my reference points for the lap. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see that. Let's go inside. Okay. Okay. So. Let's do a very, very fast uh, circuit walk. It's not a circuit walk. It's more like, you know, the fast lap. And I will show you where are my reference points. So play, start finish line. Cheers, John Smith. See you later. OK, so 150 meters billboard over here. This is just before that or even at that depending how good you are this is where you have to start your braking for the vari for prima variante which is the first chicane here so 120 150 and maybe if i can show you the pedals here yeah here are the pedals and you can see i'm just behind 150 okay uh these are the oh my god come on where is, where are they again? Here they are. Okay. And I cannot I cannot move the pedals right now. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Okay. Now. Ah. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Yes, we can move the pedals. So so let's put the pedals over here. And this here, so that you can see, I'm already at 100% braking. 
just before 150 meters and now we are moving forward so you will see how uh, let's do this slower like that okay you'll see that I'm braking I'm turning in and I'm modulating the brake you see just modulating the brake in order to hit the apex just a little bit of curb here stay and try to accelerate before the apex you see I'm trying it's not easy so after the apex I'm accelerating now I could have tried to accelerate it faster but it depends on your level on how your setup works and everything I wasn't able to do so uh, so it gets better so you, I have to get better maybe next week all right so full acceleration now uh, don't go too much to the left here stay just on the left of the middle of the road because otherwise you're doing way too much uh, uh, distance more distance and then try to stay as close as possible in curva grande and try to use as little steering input as possible if you use too much steering input you're gonna scrub speed because you're gonna ask for uh, you know your, your tires to, to uh, get too much lateral grip and this is going to keep you from accelerating so as little steering input as possible now under the bridge of Acer here you will see that I'm trying to uh, brake just under the bridge so going under the bridge and now 100% braking now this is really late braking okay uh, Again, aliens will break even later, but for me, it was late breaking. It's very important at some point, if you, if, even if you think that you're going to end up very uh, late and you won't be able to make the turn, you have to release the brake pressures, right? Release the brake pressures and go over the inner curb. You will see it right now. So look at that. Releasing the brake pressures as I'm turning in. Turning in, release the brake pressures, completely release so that the nose goes up and I can go over the curb without touching. And then on the accelerator again as soon as possible, trying to not touch the sand outside of vari uh, Seconda Variante because the sand will slow you down in a Soto Corsa 1. So you don't want to touch the sand over there. Okay, so. Accelerating again, next turn is Lesmo 1. I'm going to make Lesmo 1 in third gear. Now here it's uh, really hard to understand when to brake. Uh, my reference point is you go through these um, spectators place here and then you approach this orange on the guardrail but you cannot brake on the orange pocket of the guardrail it's way too late you need to break sooner than that so let's see when you see I'm approaching and now I'm starting to break turning in okay almost release completely the brakes now before this I want and before the orange pocket here I want to start accelerating you see I'm already full acceleration that is how you should do it so before the orange pocket you need to accelerate as as good as possible make sure that you when you end up on the green here you don't have to have too much steering wheel input because that will make the rear wheels spin because that green uh, is uh, very slippery uh, so you don't want to be like that you want to be as straight steering wheel as possible okay uh, and that will help you to accelerate and not lose uh, stability of of the car so we go back again now next reference point is the white pocket so guardrail white here this is where I will start to break you see now I'm braking touch the inner curb the better drivers will all go completely over the curb here and when you are doing this go on the accelerator you see touching the curb and go over the accelerator once again one while you exit here on the green uh, outside of the curb you don't want to be like that you want to be as straight as possible because it is very slippery and you will end up oversteering on the uh, tire wall at the right so again very very difficult close to the left to make as less meters as possible slowly to the right under the bridge and here we are again orange pocket 
on the guardrail is where I'm going to 100% braking. Okay. Once more, you will uh, arrive very, very fast. Uh, release the brakes and turn in. You want to go over the sausages on the left side apex. Uh, you don't want to go with the full car over the sausages. You want to keep your right tires on the curb and your left tires over the sausages. The first sausage will make the car bounce and jump on uh, into two wheels, and that will permit you to go through all. Uh, the rest of the sausages without practically touching them. So let's have a look at this from the outside, if possible. And you understand what I'm saying about that. Uh, like, maybe like this. Yeah, let's see. Look at this, you see? Now the car is jumping and I can go through. So once you are here, Start accelerating, don't overdo it because you're going to, you see, I'm not 100% exactly. I'm waiting a little bit and just before the last sausage on the right, I'm going 100%. You want to go over this, not with the full car, but just with the inner uh, wheels, again with the left wheels, change to fourth gear, full acceleration, once more, not too much steering input while you are sliding over that uh, green part of, of the circuit outside the curb because it's very, very slippery. All right. Okay. Now, 100%, one, uh, 100 meters billboard, 100% braking. Okay. Now, here's, here we have a problem. Um, I have a problem. Now, you can see that uh, there is camber going of the road, camber of the road going inside the, um, uh, uh, the parabolica. So I prefer to go towards the entry of the turn a bit sooner. You can see already my car is, is going already towards the entry of the turn. Better drivers than me still go a little bit wider here and then get in. I don't feel so safe. I don't like to over rotate the car at the entry. So I feel safer to go towards the turn like that. And I'm still decently fast. Mm, you know, try as I do it and then try the other way around. So go inside there, make sure that you hit an early apex here and keep modulating the brake to rotate the car. So hit an early apex and then keep modulate the brake to rotate the car and keep the car inside here. The camber of the road will help you. So let's see what is going on here. I'm keeping, you see, just a tiny bit of braking to modulate. Then at some point I have grip, I release the brakes and I want to be on the accelerator way before the orange pocket here. You see orange pocket, 100 accelerator way before that. Uh, it pays if you are on a hot lap to stay a little bit on the middle of the road. Don't go completely wide. It pays to stay in the middle of the road and make less less uh, distance practically. So stay a little bit on uh, the inside and do less distance. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. A uh, lap of uh, Monza, and uh, we've managed to do a uh, 48.6, I think. Let's see. Forty-six, forty-eight point six. First uh, evening of practice. Uh, next practice next week, maybe again uh, next Wednesday. Let's see if we can bring down that forty-eight with more muscle memory and more practice uh, into forty-eight lows, forty-eight flat, and maybe a forty-seven. Who knows? Or I might not be able, but we'll see. Okay. So let me. I, I have saved already the the setup. Let's save it again. All right, and let's go back to the pits and save also uh, the setup. So Predator, come on, Predator. Uh, let's let's call it one forty eight six. 
okay? Six, like this, zero, two, oops, zero, two. Save this, you will find the setup as usual in my uh, uh, shared folder in Google Drive. Uh, you can find the link on the description of the video. And uh, yeah, as, as I said, uh, that's it pretty much for, uh, for tonight. I don't want to go and continue lapping for uh, way too, too late. I want to show you, you know, step by step how I can get better just by driving properly, it's some small changes in the setup, trying things, trying things. So until now, it seems to be working pretty well. And um, yeah, make sure to register and uh, we will see again uh, what it will happen next week. As usual, I will be doing a proper live stream on this Friday night, uh, maybe some community racers Friday night with Assetto Corsa Competizione on our own uh, Discord server and online server. And uh, that's it. See you next time, guys. Thanks for joining. Bye.